Oh, it's you again. Hello there. I'm Garrison. And you're not. And this is my iPod vlog number 134. Yeah. And today is Weekend Wind Up. Saturday, May 14th, 2016. That's right. May 14th, 2016. Saturday. It's the Weekend Wind Up part one. And today I'm talking about UFOs! Are they real? Or are they phony? <gasps> UFOs or UFOnies? Anyways, today is National Chicken Dance Day? National Chicken Dance Day? If you know how to do the chicken dance, keep it to yourself. Anyways, happy National Chicken Dance Day! And don't do it for me, okay? Anyways, I don't know what the chicken dance is. I, I, I think I, I might have known I think my brother Mark knew it because it's like he learned in German class or somewhere. I don't know what. Anyways, a long time ago. But anyways, I don't want to know about it. I don't know how to do the chicken dance. So, happy National Chicken Dance Day. And if you know how to do it, keep it to yourself. Anyways, today is about UFOs. Are they real? Or are they phony? Are they unidentified flying objects? Or are, are they unidentified flying objects? Or are they identified flying phonies? Some UFOs might be real, as in alien spaceships. Some might be satellites crashing into Earth's atmosphere. Some might be secret weapons or secret spaceships from Earth, like from the United States or Russia. Most UFOs that they found out about, like the first ones, were actually the Soviet Union flying over us, and the ones that the Soviet Union thought it was the U.S. flying over them. So, yeah. But if aliens are really real would they travel thousands of light years just to come to this planet really seriously but anyways if you've ever seen a ufo tell me down below hey it rhymed but anyways i've never seen a ufo i've seen shooting stars i've seen i think a satellite or something it might have been an asteroid hitting the earth or something it streaked it might have been a shooting star again yeah i've seen all kinds of stuff but i never seen a flying saucer or anything unidentified that i didn't know what it was yeah, just lights in the sky, mostly helicopters or airplanes. Yep. One time I saw this, I don't know what it was. It was a triangle-shaped airplane that was following this, uh, it was behind this other fly, this plane flying by. And there was this little plane flying by. It was about the size of a car or something, and it was really close to the ground. And it was around 7 p.m., and it was still bright out. And it was, um, one of those days it was long, I don't know what it was. But I watched it fly over, and I was like, what is that thing? And then... I don't know what it was. Some kind of triangular shaped airplane. Uh, it was really, you know, really shaped like a triangle. I'm serious. Maybe it's, I doubt it was an alien spaceship because uh, why would it, it, only, it was only big enough for like one person. So I'm thinking, what the flip was that? And to this day, I do not know what that was. I'm pretty sure it was a experimental airplane and because there was a, there was a base near us in Lake Elsinore, California, there's all kinds of uh, military bases nearby. So. Yeah, I went toward the military base because I saw three, three. I think it was three large black helicopters, double, double helicopters that had double, um, instead of having one propeller on top, it had two on the top and it had a really long tail. Uh, I think it had two. Anyways, they're really long black helicopters, it's like three of them, and I guess they're big enough to carry like a tank or something inside. I mean, they were really big and they were off in the distance. And that's the direction that the weird triangle shaped plane or whatever it was was going as far as I know it could have been one of those air to space space to air planes back in that was a long time ago, 2000 something yeah and that was the closest thing to a UFO I ever seen that I could recall yeah later on today I'll talk to you talk to you about the supernatural and what supernatural things I've seen before yeah Anyways, right now it's 1.50 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I'm still Garrison. And you're not. And it's a fascinating digital world. And we just got back from the mall. My brothers, Philip and Mark and myself, we went to the mall and ate at this burger place. And had a cheeseburger. And this time they had, instead of regular fries, they had chili cheese fries. They had chili, not ch chili cheese fries, but chili fries. They had chili in the fries. Is it chili cheese fries? It was, as far as I know, it's just chili in the fries. 
and chili fries and a cheeseburger yeah so it was a cheeseburger and chili fries but I put the chili fries in my cheeseburger so I became a cheese a chili cheese burger fries wait chili cheese fry burger a chili cheese fry burger yeah anyways that's why I made it and I drank some Sprite and I still have a little bit of Sprite let's see it reach over here mmm Mm. <sighs> refreshing and yes I'm having my emo hair day again or pirate hair day depending on what you think the beard with the beard it looks like an emo with a beard or a pirate or I be a pirate but I have the wrong hat it's my sailor hat when I get cold instead of having the captain's hat because I'm not in the captain's ship right now I'm on board on land I'm a land lover right now, but pretty soon I will get back on my ship and put on me hat, me captain's hat, and tell me mateys, stupid mateys, get going! What are you doing standing around listening to me? Do your jobs, dumb domes. Ha 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 ha. Anyways, it's a fascinating digital world, and I'm glad you're in it with me. Did you hear me? I said, it's a fascinating digital world. And I'm glad you're in it with me. Welcome. Anyways, if you see a UFO or something in the in, uh, in, uh, sky that you don't know what it was, put it down below. Tell me in your co in the comments below, and I'll look. Uh, and if you have a video of it, you could share it on YouTube. I wish I had a video of that thing. That I would have put on YouTube, but pfft, I'm dumb. I didn't think about it back then. I, I don't think I had a YouTube channel back then. Now I was not nah, because YouTube started in 2000. Five or something, and I didn't get on YouTube until 2010 officially. But I did watch YouTube, you know, before I joined it, you know, because you know, because you could watch anything until, until they say, "Oh, you need to be adult to watch this video," and then, and then you find out it's not even adult content; it's just somebody saying words that that kids don't want to hear. And I'm like, really? Anyways, yeah, UFOs are they real or are they phony? And in real, unidentified flying object would be like a flying saucer. I mean, our flying saucer is real. I mean, unidentified flying objects, that could be anything. It could be an airplane that you don't know what it is because you don't you, know, you can't identify it. It could be an asteroid, a meteor, a satellite. But what about flying saucers? Are flying saucers real? <gasps> UFOs! That's when I'm going to title this vlog. Vlog number 134. We're going to title it UFOs with an exclamation point. UFOs! Dan, you tell me. Are aliens real? If they are, why would they come visit this world? Out of curiosity, maybe? <gasps> if they travel with all those light years, and it's a, it's a ship that's a generational ship, you know, where their grandchildren end up coming here instead of the originals, they wouldn't even know why they came here, some of them, if they didn't have it written down or told to them or, or some kind of recording device. <gasps> Just think about that. You start out in a spaceship that's a generational spaceship, and you don't, you're don't you not the one that discovers a new planet. It's your grandchildren or great-grandchildren or whatever. Because the people keep having children in the ship, and, they, and old people die and so forth. And by the time you get to the planet, it's like hundreds of years later, your descendants go to the planet. And what if they don't remember why they went to the planet? Are the aliens leaving their home world to find another one? Do they like Earth-like planets? If they don't, what if they terraform it or whatever they form it to their planet's standards and it's not... Breathable to us. <gasps> I would be afraid if, if, if aliens did show up because they either come for w one of two reasons. One, out of curiosity. Or two, they want to take over. And the third reason would be they just ignore us and they just throw oh, all these things. These people are too um, primitive. You don't want to bother them. them, them. Or, or they want to interfere with our technology and, and want to bring us into their realm. But they'd probably be terrified of our stupidity not being one country ruling over the whole planet. One one entity, one you know, one uh, authority or whatever, or one group of people or whatever, ruling over the whole planet. Because then that'd be the only way you can join a union of planets, unless all the planets are split up in different countries. And that'd be a, then every country would have to have a spaceport for the ships can go in and have trade with other countries on other planets, which would be weird. But that's possible too. That's what Earth's going to do in the future. We're going to tear from a whole bunch of planets, make them look like Earth. That's what terraform means. And then, then we're, our countries would, would um, the countries of Earth would have ships and ship ports going from from one country on Earth to the other country on another planet. Because the planet, any planet that Earth takes over, would be separated into countries eventually. Because that's how humans do it. We don't share. This is what's mine is mine. What's yours is yours. 
Stay off my border, or I'll build a wall. I'm Garrison, and you're not. And this has been my iPod vlog number 134 about UFOs and how humans would do it stuff if we went and took over other planets. We'd probably split them up into countries. It would be, so, be so complicated, you know what I mean? Imagine going to the airport. You think that's hard? What about a spaceport? Which country and which planet are you going to? And who's in charge of space? Okay. Anyways, if you like this video, like, thumbs up, don't like it, thumbs down. If you had a UFO encounter or something, or you know of someone that did, comment down below. Suggestions, questions about what you want to hear me say or talk about myself or whatever, down below. And if you want to subscribe to this channel, free to subscribe. If you want to subscribe to my other channels, look for featured channels, look for channels, featured channels, whatever. If you want to donate to this channel or, or my main channel, just look for the the dollar sign thingy that says to support this channel and so the content will be better. I'm coming up with, pretty soon with, with characters and my other channels. And there's two channels just be character skits that we would like five minutes long, maybe less, because there's a 50 minute limit on those two channels. These two channels, my main channel and my vlog channel, don't have any any 50 minute limit, which is why I keep blabbing on. Anyways, like, dislike, comment, uh, su any suggestions, questions, whatever you want to have. Uh, just ask me and if you want to support this channel you see the support button on, on some versions of YouTube It's there under about or it's on the side of the, of the of the screen over here And if you want to check out my other channels look for channels look for feature channels click on them It's free to subscribe if you want to enjoy it, you can just get on a penny You don't have to give me anything you don't want to Or just watch the commercials or not because I get money from commercials too like a couple of cents I like made like five cents in my main channel. Yay, but I'll never see it till it's a hundred bucks And then they put in my bank account which is weird. I don't know why I didn't do it by dollars. You know, like one dollar, you make a dollar. Yeah, I get a dollar. Anyways, I'm Garrison. And I'm Emo. Or maybe not. And you're not. You're not me, that is. I don't know if you're Emo, but hey. <laughs> I was Emo since the 70s. I've always wore a beanie and had dark eyes. But that's not makeup. This is just my eyes are sunk in. You know what I mean? And then a whole bunch of people started copying my style and yeah and then making my grumblings into music and calling it emo music when I'm like I always complain about stuff like that but I never do anything about it because it's uh, well it sucks anyways but anyways it's a happy happy world happy okay I gotta go now so we're tw 12 bands alright remember if you see a UFO tell me down below or on, the, on, on a discussion if you have the full version of YouTube, the desktop version, look under discussion and you can put down, you saw UFO and then tell me, or if you know of any UFOs and just click on that. Or you could look up in you, uh, on YouTube, there's, there's videos of UFOs and aliens supposedly. Weird stuff, man. Bye. End of the vlog, end of the vlog song, end of the vlog song. End of the vlog. Let's do it, in, this is the end of the vlog song, emo style. End of the vlog, end of the vlog, end of the vlog, end of the vlog, end of the vlog song. Goodbye! Goodbye!